today I'm going to show you some fun designs that you can do with our new bright neon-y colors for the summer. So I'm starting with a good variety of all my colors here and I'm going to be working with my number eight brush from our art brush collection and then I'm also going to be using our number nine which is our blending brush. Okay, so I'm just going to start out with my number eight brush and I'm going to pick up just a little bit of each of the colors and for this design, I'm going to work across the nail. I'm going to just pick up a little bit of each of the colors. I'm applying them right next to each other. You can kind of start to blend them together, but I will show you with the blending brush how they're really going to come together. It doesn't have to be anything perfect. Um, your application of your color doesn't have to be perfect because again, we're going to go through and blend these together. So I'm not trying to create perfect lines or anything like that. Now, when you are blending colors, kind of keep that color wheel in mind. I know we've talked about the color wheel in the past, but keep in mind your colors that kind of go in rainbow order are gonna blend together the easiest. So again, if I go kind of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, those colors in that order are gonna blend together the easiest. Now, if I do something like maybe purple and green together, those are gonna get a little bit more muddy. So kind of just pay attention to your color wheel as you're blending colors. So I'm gonna to switch to my, again, my number nine, and this is our blending brush. So right where the two colors join together, I'm gonna to start just sweeping back and forth just to get that blend right through that area. And then you can work down and back up the nail. Just go ahead and wipe out that extra on your mixing tile. Same thing again, I'm gonna take those two colors, blend across, and then work down. And that kind of, by working downward, that yellow is gonna to start to pull in to our pink a little bit, and we're gonna get a little bit more of that orangey kind of blend. I like to balance, use my pinky finger to balance, because that way I can get a little bit more kind of perpendicular to that nail, and I feel like I get a lighter touch and I get a little bit better blend. So just lightly kind of feathering through, working down from the yellow into that orange, and then kind of back up a little bit. Again, that yellow into the green. And then I'm just gonna kind of keep working up into my blue because that yellow and blue are gonna actually come together too. So I don't have to worry too much about getting the yellow up into the blue, okay? They're all gonna blend together nicely. And then we're gonna go into our blue and purple. And again, just feathering back and forth. Now you can see that I'm just kind of working over the surface. I am missing some of those sides, which is okay. But once you have all your colors blended, then you can come in and just gently from the side, kind of blend that in. That way, again, you're not getting product on the skin, but you're still going to get that product all the way to the edge of the nail. Go ahead and put this into the light. I'm gonna cure this for just a quick 30 second freeze. So I'm gonna go back through and do the procedure one more time. Again, just layering my colors and then going through and blending. And you'll start to see as you're applying your colors on the second coat that you're really gonna to start to get that good solid coverage. And then when we blend, they're gonna blend even more perfectly together. And it starts to kind of look like a sunset. So if you guys like sunset designs, this is kind of a great combination of colors for that as well. All right, so I think I like how this one is looking. Again, I'm gonna go in for a quick 30 second freeze and then I'll show it another way of blending. So the next one we're gonna do, I'm still gonna be using my number nine blending brush, but now I'm gonna switch to our number five. And the number five is a little bit more of an oval shape this one I'm gonna be able to pick up a little bit more of my product. So let's do, I'm gonna do a little bit of the green and just kind of feather it onto the nail in kind of random spots. Again, you guys, this is another great design if you are somebody who has kind of shaky hands, if you don't have a lot of time to spend on a design, this is a great, a great design to do because it's quick, it's easy, there's not a whole lot of precision to it. And then I'm gonna take, again, my blending brush and just very lightly kind of draw through those just to kind of pull them together, give the nail just a little bit of texture almost. Pop it in the light, set it into place, and move on to the next. 
Design has set in the light for just a quick 30 seconds. Now it does still have a slightly tacky surface. So this is where you can do your glitter presses. And today I'm gonna use our glitter called Little Guy. You can use whatever colors you like. I like this one because it's a really fine glitter. So it's gonna give me that sparkle, but it's not gonna look grainy or anything like that. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of our little guy and sprinkle that over the nail. Let that grab on, and then I'm just gonna tap off the extra. Now you can use a makeup brush to kind of press that in there. Okay, now at this point, I am actually going to set this back into the light because again, that tacky surface is going to grab on and cure this glitter in so that when I put my top coat on, I'm not gonna get a whole lot of extra glitter into my top coat. So again, we're gonna freeze that. This time, I'm just gonna give it a quick 10 second freeze and then we'll be good to go for our top coat. So those two are all done with our design. They're ready for top coat. I'm gonna top coat everything at the end for you and I'm gonna move on to our third design. I'm just gonna brush on a coat of our white. Now this doesn't have to be very thick. Don't worry if you feel like you see a little bit of streakiness to it. That's okay because our color is gonna really cover that up. When you have your brush up at an angle like that, that's where you tend to get a little bit more streakiness. Keep your brush a little flatter on the nail, a little lighter pressure. You're not gonna have as much issue with that streakiness, okay? We're gonna pop that in the light for a quick 30 second freeze. Now this is gonna be a little bit more of a tie-dye kind of a look. I'm gonna start with my pink. Again, I just like that first rainbow nail. I'm not using a whole lot of precision. I don't really care if it's not perfectly even. Okay, so again, I'm using our number eight brush. This is a little bit of a smaller brush. So again, I'm gonna come back with my number nine brush and I'm gonna start just kind of gently pulling that product from the center out. Now as I'm working, I'm going to again keep my mixing tile here so I can take off that extra paint and also if you need to, a, a lint-free wipe to clean out your brush as you go. Just very light pressure. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on there because I don't want to pull all of my product. And I'm just going to come back, make sure my brush is cleaned out. I'm just going to come back with a little bit of that blue and purple, just kind of pulling inward. Okay, so again, I'm gonna pop that in the light for a quick 30 second cure. Um, so today, I'm gonna use our manicure top coat. It's just what I had here at my station. You can use whichever top coats you like. But when I'm working over the glitter press, I'm always gonna do two coats of my top coat. So I'm gonna start with that one first. So again, I'm gonna set that into place for 30 seconds. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and top coat everything, and then I will show you the final product. Show you our final designs here and then you can pop them into the light and we're going to cure for a full 60 seconds. I do have a slight tacky surface on there that I need to cleanse off and I'm going to use our manicure cleanse to remove that and your design will be all set to go. So you guys hopefully these different designs and different ways of blending will help you have some fun with our new cream clays, have some fun with these great summer colors and give them a try. See what you like. channel